Do you have a drum performance that needs some help like this? But adding samples just makes it sound like this. Keep watching, because a surprising tool can save these drums. Hey guys, Joey here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a drum sampler to make real drums sound huge. These days, it's pretty much the standard to reinforce acoustic drums with drum samples to improve punch, impact, and consistency. But there's a problem. If you're not careful, these samples can get repetitive and make the performance sound one-dimensional. This is because real drums have a ton of variables that aren't represented in a one-shot sample. So what if you want the power of the samples and the realism of live drums? Use your live drum performance to trigger a drum library plugin. These samples are way more in-depth than a one-shot WAV file. You have control over the mic positions, velocity curve, and sample selection. Let's set it up. Okay, so the easiest way to pull this off requires having individual tracks for the drum shells. If you don't have this, you'll have to create the MIDI manually or do some crazy bandpass tricks to isolate the hits. Depending on your DAW, creating the MIDI might be as easy as dragging the audio to a MIDI track. If your DAW can't do this, plugins like Massey DRT and Slate Trigger can create MIDI based off of key spikes. Now repeat the process for each drum shell. Once you have all the MIDI tracks, combine them into one performance. You may have to adjust your DAW settings to force them to merge. I'd suggest keeping a copy of the original MIDI in case it accidentally overwrites when you drag it. Awesome! Now all that's left is to open a sampler. I'm going to use Drumforge Matt Griner for this example. Assign the MIDI notes to the corresponding drum hits. Now that we've got the MIDI, let's adjust the samples to fit with the mix. The samples we use should be based on the acoustic drums. If possible, start with a drum shell made from a similar material as the ones that were recorded. This is going to help blend it in. Once the drums have been selected, experiment with flipping the phase to make sure that everything lines up. Also, try pitching the samples up or down to get closer to your acoustic drums. One other cool feature in this page is the alternate feature. Drumforge Matt Griner has separately captured left and right hand hits. This can be accessed automatically with the alternate switch. The threshold controls how close together the hits need to be for the left and right samples to be played. Awesome, now let's go over to the mixer. The goal here is to enhance the best parts of the samples while also filling in the gaps of the acoustic drum sound. One of my favorite parts about mixing samples is that you have a lot more control over the resonance. This is a really big deal with a snare. A common acoustic snare problem is that there can be a nasty resonance at the same frequency as the fundamental. That 160Hz to 200Hz range is really important for getting weight from a snare drum. If you have to cut the range on the close mics, boost it on the samples. That way, you're just boosting the impact and not the resonance. One of the other great things about sample drums is that there can be no bleed if you want. Adding high-end on the drum shell close mics can get really annoying since cymbals and hi-hats can get boosted too. And cutting bleed is pretty easy with a plugin like JST Tominator, but there's no replacement for truly isolated drum sounds. And when there's no bleed on a sample, the high-end can be boosted aggressively without having to consider the cymbal bleed. This also extends to compression. You have a ton of options for dynamic control when you don't have to consider bleed. This plugin has a lot of processors for dynamics like channel compression, bus compression, saturation, and clipping. And that's on top of the control that you already get with the MIDI velocity. Awesome! Now, I'm sure a few of you are wondering if you can do the same process with cymbals. So far, ChatGPT hasn't figured out a way to create MIDI for cymbals. For now, cymbal replacement has to be done manually and by ear. But there's one cool technique that I like to use with sampled cymbals. I actually like adding extra cymbal hits on top of the existing acoustic drum tracks. It's a great way to add a little bit of excitement on a chorus. It's also super useful for reinforcing rides, splashes, really any cymbal that you would close mic. Pay really close attention to the pitch on this one though. You probably don't want to create a harmony.
That's just a few things that you can do with simple samples. Try it out and let me know how it works for you in the comments below. These drums are sounding great. Now let's glue them to the acoustic drums with bus processing. This is the secret to making sample drums and acoustic drums gel. Compress them together. Route each drum track out in the plugin into its own aux track and send the aux and the closed mics to the same bus. For example, the snare sample and the snare top go into the snare bus. Now do a little compression on this bus. Yep, that's helping them feel like one source. The punch and movement is happening together. Okay, last step. Let's print these tracks, and here's why. Since we're using MIDI, these tracks are pretty accurate, but the only way to make absolutely sure that the hits are on time is to print the tracks and compare the waveforms. This also makes it pretty easy to automate and send stems. Okay, now let's recap. We converted the drum shells to MIDI, the MIDI was used to trigger a drum sampler. We adjusted the drums to fit with the natural performance. The drums were mixed to enhance and fill out the acoustic sounds. We added a few extra cymbals. The drums were summed into a bus. And the sample drums were printed and compressed. And that's it. Keep this incredibly powerful process in mind next time you have a performance that you want to enhance but also keep organic. You can do so much with MIDI. This is just scratching the surface. Want to unlock the potential of your acoustic drums? Need to make a performance from scratch? Drumforge has you covered. Download your copy of Drumforge Matt Griner to use this technique with a library of premium drum sounds created by Atrium Audio and approved by Matt Griner himself. You can get it now at the world's best online source for professional drum sounds and software, drumforge.com.